Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with my final layout which was out up on the Hey Little Magpie blog post um, up in April. Um, and again, it's using the um, Heidi Swap Magnolia Jane collection. So again, I'm doing background texture and using um, the sort of pretty pinks of this collection. Um, so I have pulled out my beloved roller stamps. Um, which I love so much and I've kind of neglected. Um, I've also took out a selection of my inks um, and I'm going to be using those as well. So I'm going to be using the tags that came in this collection um, as one of the main parts of this layout. I really love those tags um, and the patterns and, and the fact that you could you know, use the different um, reinforcers on them as well. Um, I've taken this um, heart stamp, which was a really cheap heart stamp. I think it was about two pounds um it's not a brand i think it may, well it's like an x cut or something which is a uk brand you can get in um some of the sort of bigger box stores um over here and so i've used that um and i really like that i didn't use it on a block i just use it as is this is an older stencil which came from um stamping up i believe um and so i pulled that out and i'm just going to be putting some gray in um i really I really love doing this. Um, so you're going to get really bored of me going back to doing lots and lots of background texture. But I don't really want to apologise it because I like it. So I'm going to be layering up um, some quite pale layers on here to start with. And then I bring in a pop of oh, my favourite paper in the collection. It is beautiful. It is that one there. I absolutely love it. So... I'm then going to be using two tags um, and then also as used on my first layout I'm going to be using the glitter frames from Heidi Swap um, and they went with her Instax collection. You got four I think in a pack, maybe three, three or four in a pack um, and they're like gold die cut cardstock. Of course I could do it myself, I have glitter cardstock, I have a silhouette cameo, I have a big shot, I have the little diamond print, I have those but of course it's so much easier to buy them. So that is what I did. Um, so I've just layered that down, adding a bit of mist diver. Um, of course, it's my greys and my golds as I've been using and some whites. Um, creature of habit at the moment. And then I'm putting down this piece of paper. I just love this paper so much. Um, I do have the big background piece, but I'm like, no, I want to use it as much as possible. Um, there's also a tag in this same one, which came in collection. I just love it. It's kind of vintagey and a bit... Um, shabby chic is that what they used to call it i think it is um but yeah really really love it so um decided to go with that um again i've taken another die cut and this is a similar well it's exactly the same not similar it's the same nancy um die cut from the um silhouette store and i've just used those to cut out and i'm just putting some little bits of gold here and there on it um, and that's the Heidi Swap gold so I just wanted to add little bits and then I'm doing a little bits of misting over but not too much I want subtle I can do subtle um, and then I'm just doing some grey on those as well I really like the glossy gold in this collection um, with those sort of more muted colours that tag is beautiful that has um, a sort of whitewash wall um, I also die cut some words out. So this is you and me. And again, I cut these out from one of the papers from the collection. So they do have a print on them. Um, but I really like this, how it, how it looked. Um, sort of almost like it was cut out, like a relief. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that came out. Um, so I'm going to be using just, you know, a simple photo and then lots and lots of floral pieces. So I've used both gold reinforcers there on the tags um just to bring in those popper goals and then i'm just layering them at an angle um these are just a perfect size tag really really love them so i'm going to just layer up that floral piece and it is it is one of those things i said it's it's a bit similar to my last layout but these are going in separate parts of my album so um that doesn't worry me i also don't really worry if i've got three or four layouts that look quite similar because it is what it is, isn't it? Um, and it's still capturing a memory. Really badly, I've not journaled on any of those lay these layouts yet, so I do need to get on that. I'm using another one of these beautiful um, acetate words that come in the Heidi Swap collection. Uh, I'm going to be using the word together. So it's kind of like you and me together, together you and me, that kind of thing. Um, 
so I'm just going to be now looking at what else can I pull in of course I fussy cut all those um, beautiful flowers um, I have quite a stack of those so I'm going to be pulling those out as well I love the monotone of those flowers it's just beautiful they're slightly tinted because there is a slight um, sort of like pinky beigey sort of tone to them that makes sense to me um, so I'm just going to be popping those around in different places I love the action of fussy cutting anyway um, and I have done three pages use these on all pages and I still have like probably about five I think um, of these left all in varying sizes as well um, so what I'm trying to do here is not have to lift everything up so I am just sort of sneaking some bits of glue underneath as well because I've used that black glitzy frame around my photo it does make the photo pop because I'm aware that your photo could get a little bit lost and now it's just I'm just going to keep popping bits in <laughs> um, I have this little bird down there which I really like I fussy cut these birds out I didn't fussy cut these birds out, sorry. I fussy, you know, used a fussy sort of cut on um, the silhouette. I think they go as um, Zentangle birds in the store. And I really like them. And so, yeah, I've <laughs> put birds on the last layout as well. And birds don't really have anything to do with you and me. I mean, you know, me and my friend aren't particularly bird fanatics i don't know how bird a bird is just kind of sweet and lovely isn't it so that will do in my mind that's justified there's flowers nature bird all perfectly fine um, so yeah um i'm now going to be sticking down that acetate piece that just says together and with the pops from the gold there it really works so this is the beloved paper i did end up going nancy use it as a background you love it so much I really liked how this layout came so I'm right I'm gonna mount the whole layout on it and just make everything sing together so I'm super super happy with this layout love how it came out I'm gonna add some um, of these Nouveau crystal drops around just around you know into the background add a little bit of spangly texture and then that is it for these um, three layouts from this collection I really enjoyed using this collection um, I will put a link down to the blog post below so you can go and see all the photos and I'll also add them to my Pinterest so thanks very much guys for watching and I will speak to you all again very 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 soon thank you bye